We have someone who trapped a raccoon on Monday, and it is showing signs of distemper. Would he euthanize that if she can get it over there to you? Yes. <laughs> they said no. Somebody, you don't tell me no. Somebody's going to be going to pick you. I think that scabies around there. Look how old her teeth are. But she's not itchy, so. I don't think it's scabies. What do you think it is? Just Ooh. irritation. Irritation. Well, she gets a day till day too. See, I don't like that in my face, doctor. I don't like it in my face. Not in my face. Oh, yeah. Oh, that's weird. She got little bumpies on her tail. Oh my gosh, it's so cool. Every every inch, she's got a bumpy. That's what her vertebrae. What? I've never seen one do that before. <clears throat> well, their tails are usually always gigantic here too, so that's probably why. You gotta gently. Don't <laughs> you let her fall? I'll get you. older ones better. They've got character. Say that's not cute. up because he tries to escape my clutches <laughs> <laughs> and you know he cannot see how he op instinctively opens his little mouth and we go right into the crop area and we fill him up and when he does that you know he's got a good full little crop look at that whoops well let's just Ma, don't make me vomit <laughs> There we go. Hey, look at me. It's a dove. It's hunter fodder. Hunter fodder. I don't know what that means. It's a little Inca dove. These are the craziest little birds. They slap at you. These are not as friendly as the, um, whoa, as turtle the little, doves. yeah, turtle doves. The turtle dove is a ringneck dove, I think, and the morning doves are the ones that drive us crazy. Morning doves, yeah. 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 Morning doves. Well, he might have got a little too much, but you know what? It's a good full crop, and he's got room to spit some out, so that's cool. <laughs> mm. <laughs> the 
story with this uh, small barred owl is uh, basically this guy was caught in some fishing string hanging over the water. So he was flying yesterday. I'm told he escaped here. So chances are he'll be set free the next day or two as to get his parasite load taken care of. And this is really small. No, he's small.